Welcome or welcome back, beautiful souls, to the channel. I'm She, your conscious mentor, medicine woman, and Reiki master. And today I'm going to be going over what you need to know about this Aries full moon on October 9th, 2022. Uh, today I'm going to be going into a card reading with you guys. I thought I had something in my mouth. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going over a card reading with you guys, and I'm also going to be going over channel messages that will really help you know what to expect three days before this full moon in Aries, the day of, and three days after. We are in the cusp of Libra and Aries season, and there's so much that's going to be unraveling, so let's get into this video. Before we get into the video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, a like, subscribe, put notification bells so you don't miss a video. I'll be posting an energy healing meditation for you guys really soon, so you'll stay tuned for that i do these full moon new moon energy updates every single month so i know some of you come on here but you are not subscribed subscribe and last thing i want to share with you guys if you're interested in going deeper in your healing i have two spots available for my rebirth mentorship program if you've been wanting to work with me this is the space i also do medicine ceremonies i'm a campbell carrier medicine holder as well as other medicines that i work with so if you're interested in doing healing i have a whole bunch of retreats message me on instagram or through my website i am interested to be held in medicine and i can give you more information about that and lastly i want to share with you guys that i'm feeling like i'm going to be hosting da -da -da -da, a live moon circle so i will be posting about this in the community post for this feels online and it will be actually on the date of the full moon so i'm going to not only give you this energy update and an energy meditation but also a live healing circle with moi so if you're interested and you're excited for that, put a purple little heart emoji down below and stay tuned because I'll be announcing all that and when to register really soon. Let's get into this full moon in Aries and what we need to know, guys. That's so much stuff. So there are big messages that I want to share with you guys. The first thing that's coming up for me is during this full moon in Aries that's happening on October 9th, 2022, is we just finished a few days ago. I believe if we calculate it, it's about seven days ago, so a week ago, the Mercury retrograde. So Mercury is in retrograde, but Jupiter is also now in retrograde, so we're all in the retrogrades that are going on, but I'm going to channel specifically on Mercury retrograde. So now Metro Mercury, Mercury retrograde is over, need to speak. Um, the first thing to know about this time is that this is a time that things are definitely clearer. It feels like there's not so much stagnancy however there's still stagnancy so this is still a time that we're feeling a little bit uncertain okay we are still trying to find answers of where we're going next what we're doing next libra brought us to balancing as we had the libra new moon that just passed so libra is really calling us to balance our life where are we forcing ourselves to make certain outcomes instead of tuning into what is in alignment right now so now mercury retrograde has finished what it's going to call us during this full moon in aries full moon is all about healing full moon is about seeing what intentions we set in the libra new moon so what i will give you as an intention is to go to your libra new moon journal entry see what intentions that you have harvested between now and then notice what has occurred now the next part you guys might not like but for this full moon in aries on october 9th 2022 is that a lot of the things that we established started working on or created on in the next month we're going to be called to redo those shadow work healing lessons okay just see it as like a bonus little test from the universe so mercury retrograde is calling us to redo some things to clear up some things so for example if you created a new idea, you launch something new, this is a time that you're going back to tweak it a little bit at your frequency right now. Now that the frequency is cleared, now that we just had the hurricane and mother nature has cleared our energy and cleared and just expressed the anger, we have also collectively expressed our anger and frustration of the resistance of communication that's been going on in our life or relationships. It's like now we're able to fine tweak it. It's like we're tweaking. We're going over the things before we launch it. This is also a great time that if you establish a relationship around the mercury retrograde you might just have to go back and re go over or re-communicate your boundaries with this person so for example maybe discussing like where you guys are both at how do you feel emotionally are you getting the things that you need um 
you're gonna go back and have some similar conversations during this full moon in Aries. Now remembering that because Mercury retrograde has ended and some of us are frustrated that things aren't picking up after all the healing and work that we've done, one of the biggest things that's coming up is that we need to be patient and notice that anger may come up in this field. Now, anger is normal. It's okay. How many times have we been taught or younger self has been taught that we can't release, we can't dissolve anger. So this Mercury retrograde um, ending and going into the full moon in Aries is teaching us how can we be patient in the uncertainty and the unknown of where we're going next. Okay, so how can you be more patient? This is a time that we can look deeper into our intentions, deeper into our life, deeper into what ignites us, what makes us happy. You know, shadow work's great and all dandy, but if we're not taking time to enjoy the journey of this marathon, why are we actually doing the shadow work at the end of the day, right? Uh, another thing that came up is that during this full moon in Aries on October 9th, 2022, is that this may trigger a lot of workaholicism or problem solving. So those of you who can't hold that space of anger, this full moon in, in Aries is going to you're going to feel like you're going to want to react to solve a problem or you're going to want to work and distract yourself. That is you avoiding and bypassing something. So during this full moon in Aries, this is an opportunity for you to clean, 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 not procrastinate, fix some things that maybe you focused on during this last month in September and fine tuning it. It's all about fine tuning that sports car. The card that's going up here is go a distance. So this card is just saying, how can we go the distance? We have the cheetah, we have this cat energy going on. So the cat, the cheetah is all about power. Um, it's about working hard. It's about going the extra mile. It kind of reminds me of Lionsgate. For some reason, even some things you guys have called in for Lionsgate that happened on August 8th, 2022, what did you want to manifest? Because I feel like in September, you guys have been working on it. And now it's like, okay, I need to get things going. Sheikah, I'm tired of people telling me online that it's mercury retrograde and i can't make decisions again just be patient there's a lot of things happening behind the scenes that you're not aware of so when we're talking about go the distance is go the distance with your patience go the distance of you know fine-tuning things go the distance of really not problem solving but rather sitting with the you know delay and sitting with that and allowing to have a deeper observation of what you need to see. Let's see if there's another card. I feel like there's another card on this because this is the main point for this Aries full moon that I really want you guys to get this message. This card flew out higher power. Okay, I don't even need to say any more. There is, it sounds here that during this Aries full moon, October 9th, 2022, is there's this a higher power. There's a higher explanation that we're not seeing as to why we need to go a distance. So this is triggering our anger. This is triggering us wanting to know well, why, why is why, why are things the way they are? But again, there's going to be such depth in our relationships. There's going to be much more depth in the thing that you're creating and the thing that you worked on in August 8th. Um, go the distance, you know, manifestations. This is a big thing. So you're just fine tweaking your manifestations, being more specific with your manifestations. That's going to be key. So this is the first thing you need to know about this full moon in Aries on October 9th, 2022. The second thing you need to know is that this is a time to not rush any big decisions. Some of you will feel like you're in panic and pressure, especially when it comes to finances and abundance, because we have a retrograde in Jupiter. Jupiter is the ruler of abundance, receiving all of that. So for some of you that are in a placement of Jupiter, you're living in a Jupiter place, um, that's okay. You're going to be working with the space that you're in. And if you want to learn how to know that, you can go to astro.com and go into type in astro travel and you'll look at your astro photography it will actually show you where your jupiter line is so for me I, my jupiter line is actually in my city which is cool so that's great but all this to say is that a lot of you are going to be forced to do big decisions because of this like kind of delay that's going on as far as abundance but this delay is honestly a blessing because you're going to fine tweak something and when i say abundance i'm talking about love 
and romance and abundance because those two things are what this Aries full moon is going to affect the most in our life. So abundance is like career. If a lot of you are focusing on your career, um, your life, any of that, you might even notice that you're bleeding or you're having your moon cycle around the full moon. And if you are bleeding on your moon, put a little blood, a little drop emoji down below. Let's celebrate that together because you are in alignment of manifestation. So this is a great time for you to not make decisions, but to receive higher power, higher messages from your ancestors, your guides, your guardians, angels, cosmic family that's coming up a lot. And what they're going to do is going to help you tune into how can I be more patient and not go into rushing my process. Remember, all and every single one of us, every moon that we experience, every sign that comes every month, it's teaching us to be patient with our journey. When we rush for an outcome, we can end up doing things sloppy, right? So it's almost like this is helping you in whatever way in your life that you're feeling a little bit of a delay it's bringing patience and it's helping you get more change and more expansion than you can even imagine. So don't rush because of desperation. Don't rush because of panic. Rather bring yourself to this groundiness with the Libra energy that's still happening in October, but still the fiery energy of excitement for where you're going. Change and the uncertainty, that's a huge thing. So usually when we're going for change, we tend to think that we have to have everything going on. So a lot of you that are the problem solvers, the workaholics, this archetype, this is really gonna show you during this full moon in Aries on October 9th, 2022, where in my life am I overworking? that is just overworking to avoid something. Where in my life am I a problem solver and always having to fix problems for other people and myself, and I go hard on myself when I don't fix problems. When we're in change, it's like a hurricane, which is exactly what happened you know, a few days ago when we we're having the Hurricane Fiona. It's teaching us that there's change happening and Mother Nature had to clear up this world, clear up this earth, express her anger, her chaos, her delay of everything make everyone pause and feel this pain feel this anger that we also have in ourselves because there's about to be a huge change collectively and with that we need to sit for the next layer of awakenings that's going to be happening in the next four months so again tune into not big rush of big decisions okay anything on romance career investment this is not a time to rush it rather it's a time to wait for the higher power to give you a message and tell you when the go okay is okay so remember that let's pull out one more card if there's any cards spirit about just not rushing decisions so chaos and conflict i just talked about this so again, this is where we're calling ourselves to let the chaos and conflict occur so we can actually clear and cleanse our energy. So I actually want to, I'm actually going to read this card. It's 33, which is literally the angel number of divine or divine angels direct message from your angels. So Desiree. So Desiree is being a cross purpose with another and tension of opposites, the value of chaos before order. Do you notice when you're about to give up on something and you really want it, that that's the time when you're ready to put in the towel, right? I saw this beautiful video the other day of this woman giving birth on Instagram and it's this pregnancy account that I follow on natural births. And this woman's like, I just wanna give up, I just wanna give up and she's narrating her story and the nurse whispers in her ear and says, when you are about to give up, you know that it's that much closer to meeting your little child. So again, when we know we're about to give up, just think of birthing, you know, any mothers out here, anyone who wants a child or especially this month, because it is fertility Aries. I'm going to go into this is an energy of fertility. And I got some interesting little nimbits for you guys about that. So when we're about to hit chaos, when we're about to hit our breaking point, that's not our breaking point. That's called a transition. But the difference is our human doesn't get explained this through this human experience. So spirit's kind of saying that before we give up, during this Aries full moon on October 9, 2022, three days before the day of and three days after, there's going to be a breaking point, an emotional breaking point where the patience will be thin, where the desperation will come in, where the test of old relationships and, and exes will, will slid in your DMs. 
all the possible things where spirit is calling you to be patient and to fine tune and to really test you on your shadow work and healing to prepare you to receive something so much bigger and greater for your deepest and highest timeline. So this is just saying when you're about to give up, just know that I'm just that much closer. It's just there. My manifestation is just there. My soulmate's just there. The commitment's just there. My healing is just there. My finances, my career, I'm, I'm just about to make a breakthrough. So this month is all about the breakthrough and I will say that this Aries full moon is going to be a big, big shift for our January that's coming up in 2023. And this is when the new year is already starting to come up. So really tuning into what chaos is happening in my life and, you know, what is that inviting me to bring more patience and more gentleness into my life because I'm about to hit a huge breakthrough. The third thing you need to know about this full moon in Aries on October 9th, 2022, three days before the day of and three days after is it's baby making time. This Aries full moon is going to bring fertility. So any of you guys who are fire signs, this is definitely a time where you can seed and also those who are air signs, you, this is a time where it's a great time to give birth or maybe try to conceive a child. Maybe that's not something that you want. So if that is the case, maybe just being a little bit, um, you know, conscious about that, like tracking your period or whatnot, it would be, or communicating that with your partner. Um, but all this to say is this is a great time to birth and not only birthing a baby, but also birthing yourself. There is a part of yourself that you're birthing and this opportunity for you to be delayed thanks to Mercury retrograde, thanks to Mother Earth clearing and cleansing, and thanks to Yamanja doing that, your hurricanes, all of that. This is really allowing us to tune into what am I birthing in my life? Because I'm going to be tested, right? It's the third trimester of the pregnancy where it gets hard. Just like going back when you're pushing for that baby, you're pushing and you're going or you're running a marathon and you got 30 minutes left and you're running and your ankles hurt and your legs hurt and you just want that finish line to be up in near distance already, but you can't see it. You can feel it, but you can't see it. And this is the point where your mind tries to test you. You know, it thinks about all the things that you just want to like change and shift and just give up and all of the things. But at this point, you have a choice. This is called transition when the energy is so thin. So here it's asking you, what are you birthing in your life? You know, what is the last push? This is the last push with this Aries full moon and you need to tune into you know this fertility energy this is a great time to connect with your sacral chakra i'm going to go into certain medicines you can work with if you are feeling called to work with certain plants um, with this full moon in your rituals so that is huge. What are we birthing? Definitely a time to have more babies or birth a business or birth an opportunity or birth a new home. There's, there's something about birthing that's coming up. You might even find out someone who's really close to you who ends up being pregnant. The fourth thing you need to know about this full moon in Aries, October 9th, 2022, is that remembering that this is a space where this Aries full moon is going to really test relationships on dependent relationships. So any of you that maybe went into a relationship when you were in a fragile space, and maybe right now you're noticing that where you are right now with this person is completely different than when you started this relationship. It's interesting because as I do more healings and work with people, one of the biggest things I see is that when we go through trauma or when we go through um, a space where we feel unsafe, the first thing we do is we try to find someone to make us feel safe and we depend on that relationship of safety. So I want you to really tune into where in the past have you, when there was change, when there was panic, when there was desperation, that you felt after feeling unsafe in your body, your being, or your soul. And this could have been through a trauma, a huge major change unexpected, a death in your life, and understanding what was the relationship and who did you depend on emotionally, mentally, physically, in all ways to support you during this time. If you are depending on your relationship to feed a void or to feel, feed a shadow wound of feeling unsafe in your body and your being, during this Aries full moon, you're going to feel it. You're going to really feel it. And this is an opportunity for you to change dependency. So asking yourself, what are some new rituals I can do on my own? What are some new things I can 
talk or communicate new boundaries with my partner so we can grow together but also grow separately my favorite analogy i like to share all the time is that humans are trees and when we meet partners there's a tree that grows beside us and some of the branches will weave together and some will not and sometimes we get so stuck and comfortable especially the past two and a half years with us being at home depending on our relationships to be our support our friends and everything and this is a time just during this aries full moon where we're going to be emotionally having to be patient because those people can't always be there for you and you need to be there for yourself so this is like how dependent are you on your relationships especially intimate relationships for emotional support and how can you find that same thing that you're seeking outside of yourself in yourself so this is a great time to work on that shadow work dependent relationships dependency dependency of wounds and wounds of your victimhood all of that if this is something that's really resonating with you, I would highly suggest you applying to my ancestral retreat, Remember Retreat, that's happening this December on December 3rd to the 11th. And if you're interested in that, message me. It's going to be in the beautiful Caribbean islands in St. Lucia. We'll be doing plant medicine ceremony, but we're going to be doing ancestral healing. And dependency in relationships, I find, is one of the biggest layers that I see that happens ancestrally because it comes from trauma, it comes from an experience, it comes from the wounded masculine. So if you're ready to deroute this and feeling dependent, feeling like you're not safe in your body and your being and feeling like you're not safe in this change, I would highly suggest you messaging me. I also have other retreats, but this is very important. Dependency comes from the mother wound, which is ancestral. It comes from the unsafeness of the father. It comes from so many layers. So in this Aries full moon, we'll be tested in our relationships that we've had going back to the ancestral lineage of where we felt desperation, where we felt abandonment, where we felt that we weren't safe in change. And spirit's going to really test us on this to set new intentions so then we can claim what we want and feel liberated in the process of doing this because spirit has all these amazing things weaved in our life that we are willing to receive so just know that this is the major big push before you receive something bigger so let's celebrate this aries full moon so i love 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 that I wanted to share something really exciting for you guys that I think would be helpful. And this is a new component in these videos. I'm going to be sending you or sharing with you some plant medicines that you can use as a tea topically that will be very helpful for this full moon. So this full moon in Aries in October 9th, 2022, three days before the date of and three days after is really aligning patience, um, change, panic, desperation, intimate relationships, fertility and career and that last push before we receive something bigger that the higher power knows and we don't know there's a reason why they're not showing you is because this is like a big this is a big step for you this is a big shift for you so the first plant that came up was called black eyed susans i don't know if you've ever heard of them they are edible so you can use them as a tea you can use them topically as well and they're really good for unconscious anger so times where our past experiences or just not even noticing when we our emotional body reacts in anger and wants to suppress it so this would be a great medicine to work with during this full moon um, also escapism so any of you who escape things through workaholic problem solving trying to project something on someone else um, feeling desperation that if I don't fix this, this will happen. Looking at the worst cause, this is going to be a beautiful medicine to work with. This is also great for really tuning into um, abandonment. So if you feel abandonment um, and you're escaping the abandonment and the emotion through other means outside of yourself, this Black Susan flower is going to be really amazing. The second one is the pink monkey flower, which is really neat. And this one can be found as a dried um, plant. And again, these two you can also do in a bath if you'd like, in a bath ritual, which can be very helpful. The pink monkey flower is great for expressing love to our loved ones, our family, and to ourselves. So understanding to our heart, you know, how we're expressing love in our wombs, love in our heart, our love in our in our sacral, because this is going to be activated a lot. You're going to feel a lot of opening here. So a lot of you here that might feel dependency that comes from trauma, you're going to feel maybe things come up, or maybe it's a celebration to notice that you've actually got such a far away from 
of this unsafeness in your womb and your hara in your sacral so um this is going to be really big some of you might be calling into birth or have a child so this would be a great flower to work with that for fertility and also just birthing something new and working with the plant remember we talk to our plants to ask them what they want to give us the other thing is rejection so if you have a hard time receiving rejection rejection from spirit on time because remember time doesn't really exist we're all on one timeline we only have time in this human plane because we want to create order in this life so rejection if you have a hard time receiving someone saying no abandonment someone not giving you what you want the way you want it pink monkey flower is going to be really amazing for this and to really help you tune in now another one that's really coming up to me that's really beautiful is yarrow and yarrow is great for ancestral healing you can use this as a tincture which is underneath the tongue some people do or in a bath um, and this can be used to really help you open up for inner healing for yourself with love as these you know wounds may come up or even celebrations may come up during this aries full moon so those are the plants that came up let me know if you have any questions down below i'm going to pull out one card from my ancestor deck and one from my um affirmations to see what spirit has for us Ooh, the card fell. oh this card is so big so remember we talked about higher power right which was this card so this card is just like a confirmation we have the eagle what is the eagle totem the eagle represents perspection perception it, it represents opening our eyes to something bigger and during this aries full moon october 9 2022 we're going to be receiving a wider scope of something we're going to get something that maybe spirit's been hiding and now it's like here's the gift here's the clarity you've been looking for thank you for being patient so Father Sky says, trust the unknown. Some of you might not be trusting the unknown, and this is a test to see if you're willing to trust the unknown. Are you willing to trust not getting the answer right now than rather getting it when you're meant to? So let's read this card because I really feel like this card's gonna be really good. We have 72. 72 is the number nine, so we're going into ending something. We're ending this unclarity. We're ending this like feeling that we're we've kind of been up in the air with spirit a little bit and now it's like we finally get some some answers trust that your path is unfolding exactly as it needs to you have a personal relationship with the great father father sky represents cosmic connection to ancestors guides higher knowledge know that he is lovingly leading you forward so just know that even though you're not seeing things in the physical realm just keep being patient keep honoring what's coming up for you recognizing your relationships um, as well as your you know seeds that you planted between the lion's gate and also last month and giving gratitude to mercury retrograde giving you that extra time to really be in a space to receive to receive what you're claiming receive those manifestations receive the new beginnings um you know i always say that maybe divine timing is great and maybe this timing that when you wanted something you were in a space to receive it and now you're in a higher timeline so just give gratitude to that call in the eagle totem when you're doing your meditations and your healing when i post this meditation that will be posted soon call in the eagle totem they will help you bring perspective along with your benevolent ancestors so let's finish this with a little affirmation okay affirmation we have imagination i embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind keep your imagination bright and don't get delayed or kind of disheartened that things aren't as meant so even though we don't understand what is we just know that change is coming and just holding that um space giving gratitude for the ease and the space that you have to take your time with the decision because there's going to be a time when you wish that things were a little bit slower and we always wish what we don't have so give yourself patience and grace during this time of huge changes that the collective is going along with ourselves the mystic the universe the collective the higher power is doing a lot of work right now and this aries full moon is just asking us to be patient so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know down below what resonated with you don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like subscribe put notification bell so you don't miss a video remember i'll be posting a meditation really soon for you guys as well as i'll be
be hosting a moon full moon circle and i'll be sharing that on the community post in youtube or down below once i've decided on that but i'm so excited it's gonna be great. If you feel called to go deeper with your work with me, don't forget to apply for the rebirth program as well as anything on relationships and anything I shared on dependency or being independent and tuning into yourself and like being in a, you know, dependent on your own being, your own energy and seeing that power in yourself or ancestral healing. I encourage you to apply for the ancestral retreat. Remember retreat that's happening in St. Lucia in December. You can message me on Instagram or through my website. Happy Aries full moon and thanks for hanging out with you, you guys. I just love hanging out with you guys. You guys are so awesome. Okay, I will see you soon. Bye.